Did you know that you can install mods on Dinkum and not get penalized for it? Well, grab your comfy cozy drink, sit back, relax, and let me show you how. Hey guys, welcome to Jade Mist Gaming. Jade Mist here, and today I'm going to show you how to mod Dinkum on PC and on your Steam Deck, if you have a Steam Deck. <laughs> now, before we do anything in our game, we want to back up our game. Now, if you know how to back up your game, you can go ahead and skip this step and move on to where we install the mods. But if you don't know how to back up your game, let me show you how. So you're going to come over here to your Windows key, click on the Windows key, type in run, R-U-N, press enter and open up your command prompt right here. And you're going to type in app data or app data, however you say it, press enter. And this is going to open the folder where you have your app data look at local low double click that look for james benden we're not looking for dinkum we're looking for developer name james benden open up that double click it and then you're going to find your file dinkum you're going to press right click and copy or if you're on your computer control c well you are on your computer because that's where we're doing this right <laughs> you can press control c for copy and then just go to your desktop and press control v or right click on your desktop and play paste. I already have it in here because I've already replaced, I've already done it. I'll replace the files anyway. So now you have your folder Dinkum in your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over here just in case anything happens. Now we know that we have our backup file. So let's close out of this and let's go now into the actual modding of the game. So now before you can install any mods, you will need a base file that is basically going to be the root of your mods. It is required to have any single mod work in your game, and that is called the Beppin X6 file. So the Beppin X is available in the description below. You can click on it and it'll take you directly to the download. Um, you can also find it on the Nexus mods. Um, any of the mods that are listed will have a link to the Beppin if you're not comfortable clicking on links here in the description. So if you just open up Nexus mods, click on any of the mods for Dinkum, Beppin X is going to be a, a requirement on any of them. So just click on that and it'll take you over to the download page. So if you click on the link that's in the description, you'll find the direct download. So you're going to get a zip folder like this one go ahead and make sure you put that on your desktop so you kind of have it here on a clean desktop now we want to install this folder into your dinkum file so what we want to do is go ahead and open up steam go to your library and click on your game right click on it click on manage hover over manage and then browse your local files this is going to open up your dinkum files right here now i already have Beppin x already installed in here so it's going to look a little differently than yours i'm going to minimize my steam basically once you move in beppin over here you're going to extract all of these files into your dinkum folder so it's going to extract this file this file this file and this file i'm going to go ahead and delete them so you can kind of see already what my game looks like so we're going to go together and do this so take your beppin download drag it into your dinkum folder right here and your zip file is going to be in here now you could do this one of two ways you can go ahead and right click on the zip and just click extract here or you can open it up with whatever zip opening program you have <laughs> i don't know the technical terms for it and then you can just go through the process of extracting those files into your dinkum folder which is again right here so easy just right click on it extract here and all of those folders like i showed you before beppin x the channel log, the doorstep config, and the win HTTP DLL file will all extract into your Dinkum folder. You can then take the zipped folder and you can delete it from your folder. Right click delete or just press delete on your keyboard. And it's that simple. It's that simple. That's how you install Beppin X. We're going to close out of this and then we're going to go jump into our game. We have to run the game for the Beppin to go ahead and create all of the required folders that we need in order to install mods so go ahead and click play and just open up your game super quick i have it opened up in windowed mode already so just let it run through the process 
All right, so now we are in our game. So you can just go ahead and click on load game. Click, click on whatever game you have. I'm just going to open up my normal game. Photo by Just a Joy. Once again, still no Jade Miss Gaming photo. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> All right, so the game loads up. We're fine. We don't have to do anything in here. So just exit like normal, quit to desktop, and you've run your game. Awesome. So now let's go back to those files so you can kind of see exactly what happened. So again, if you already closed it out, just go back to manage, browse local files, and then you're going to click on Bepin X, and all of these files folders are going to open up. Before, if you would have clicked on it, all you would have seen was core. None of this, the cache, the config, the patches, the plugins, and the log output, none of this would have been there. So what happened was that the game just created all of these folders for you. The main folder you're looking for to install all your mods is plugins right here. This is going to be the root. This is going to be what you're going to be used to. Okay. So if you want to minimize this, you can totally minimize this. You can close out of Steam now. You don't need Steam at this moment. We're going to go and check out the mods. Now, the second thing that we need to install here for some of the mods to work, not all of the mods, only some of the mods, is another mod. So let's go ahead and open up Nexus Mods. It is called TR Tools Modding API. This is going to be a requirement for some of the mods, such as crafting from your chests. Um, extremely important mod. So you can go ahead and go into the Nexus Mods where the Dinkum mods are and look for TR Tools. I will also have the link right here to this page in the description below so you can just grab it for yourself. So go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, if you come on down here and you click on requirements, you'll notice that the mod offsite requirements is Bepin X. Every single mod you open is going to show a requirement of Bepin X. We just installed that so you have nothing to worry about. Don't worry about this mods requiring this file because these are just the mods that have this TR um tools that you're going to need this for so let's go ahead you don't need that you can close that go now up here to manual download and just click on manual again a little pop-up is going to tell you hey you need bepin remember click download and it's going to take you to this next page either click on free slow download if you have the free account or if you have a premium nexus mods account you can go ahead and click on fast download i don't have one i'm not fancy like that so i'm just going to click slow download then you're going to have a few second countdown. If you want to donate to support the author, you can donate to support the author. That's always awesome. As you can see, I've already done this a few times just so that I can kind of test this out. So you're going to see TR Tools has downloaded here. You're going to open up your downloads folder, which I already have right here. And you'll see it has downloaded today TR Tools. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this now. I'll minimize this. I'm going to take the TR tools and I'm just going to kind of move it out of this folder and put it onto my desktop and minimize this. I like having everything here just to show you guys what I'm doing. Now, again, we're going to go back into this Bepin file where we have our plugins. All right. So again, if you need to remember where to find this, let's say you accidentally closed out of this. Not a problem. Just go back into Steam, right click on Dinkum, manage browse local files and this is where your files are always going to be all right let's get out of steam open up bepin x plugins and your folder should be completely empty at this point you're going to take tr tools and drag it into your plugins folder and just like we did before with bepin you're going to right click on this and extract this entire zipped folder into your plugins folder which gives us our TR tools. Then you can go ahead and delete that zipped file. Or again, if you extract in a different way, extract how you normally extract your files, just make sure they are extracted into your Bepin X plugins folder. All right. Now you won't need to touch anything here. You're always just going to leave this folder. You can open it and see what's in here, but you won't need to do anything from here on out with your TR tools unless you're a little bit more advanced and more savvy on computers and you want to some, change some configurations. But I wouldn't touch anything. Just let it sit there so that you can have it working with the other mods. So let's go ahead and put it to the test. I'm going to minimize this and we're going to go back into Nexus mods. So I'm going to go back to the files, 
go get back into the basic Oop, go back 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 here we go <laughs> we're gonna go back into where all these mods are i will also link this in the description below so you can see a full list of all of the mods that are currently in nexus mods there's about nine pages worth of mods here and i'm gonna have a video that i'm gonna actually have two videos a part one and part two since there's so many of them so part one is gonna have about 15 essential mods to make a better dinkum gameplay and the second one is going to be the non-essentials but it helps to have in the game because they're kind of cool to have type of thing <laughs> so first foremost let's go ahead and just try it out with the very first mod here craft from storage it's a pretty important mod to have right <laughs> so we're going to click on this mod and you're going to go scroll down always check the requirements to make sure that you have everything we need in our case if you followed all of our steps we do have everything. It has the Bepinex, which we've already installed, and the TR Tools modding API. So we're good. Check, check. Let's come back up here. Click manual download. Again, a pop up showing us what we need. Click download. Slow download for your not so fancy girl here. <laughs> let it count down five, four, three, two, one. And let it go into your downloads folder go ahead and open up that downloads folder and you're gonna see it right here let's close out of nexus i'm gonna grab this download and i'm just gonna drag it into my desktop you don't have to put it to your desktop i'm just doing this to kind of show you where it is and i'm gonna open up again our plugins folder where the tr tools was downloaded so it's your dinkum folder bepin x and plugins same exact way we just did the tr tools you're going to drag your craft from storage win zip folder and you're going to right click on it and extract here or extract it however you usually extract your zipped files so i usually just extract where i want it to be right here and you're going to see a dll file this is the only file that will be in your zipped folder go ahead and just delete that zipped folder and there you go this is how your mod folder should look the more, the more mods you add, the more DLL folders you're going to have or DLL files you're going to have. TR Tools is a little different because it has all of these other things since it's a configurable file. But every other mod should just have craft uh, or should just have a DLL. So that's it, guys. That's how easy it is to download and install a mod into your game. Now, let's go ahead and try and put this mod into test. Let's just jump into Dinkum. So you can see for yourself that the mod actually works. All right, open up Dinkum. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here until we get into our game. All right, so we're in our game. Let's go ahead and load. We're going to go to Misty Meadows like usual. Photo by L Jalel Jalel Jelly Jelly. I'm not sure how to say it. But once again, no Jade Miss Gaming photo. <laughs> All right, we're back in here. Let's go to our storage. Now for this mod, I will touch in on it a little later. You will need to have your storage outdoors for this to work. If you have a storage room like I do in here, this craft from storage mod won't work. It is currently bugged out and it will not work from the additional houses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab one of the items that I know here. Here we go, tin bar. I'm going to move this over here and I'm just going to grab, you know, I have a storage out here. So we're going to put this into this storage right here just so that I can have one of the materials. So now you see, I don't have it in my bars. I don't have it in my inventory, this tin bar. We're going to go craft nails, a basic thing to craft. So here's our crafting bench or crafting table. We're going to click on crafting table. Let's look for the nails. Where are my nails? There they are. So nails, the only thing that you require for nails are tin bar. As you saw before, I don't have the tin bars in my inventory. I don't have it in my toolbar. It is only in that storage, yet it is craftable because it's grabbing it from our storage. So we can go ahead and craft it. Boom, eight nails. Let's close out of that, open the inventory, and there you go. We have our nails right down here. Sorry if it's being cut off here. I'm in windowed mode, so I apologize for not full, full screen. So there you go. Our craft from storage mod completely works. Now, again, in the next video, I will describe a little bit more about each specific mod and what's working, what's not working. But just know the craft from storage 
you will need your storage bins to be outside and fairly close to your crafting bench. Um, at least in some sort of view. I haven't tested out how far you can be. That will be for the next video when I discuss this mod more in detail. But just know, again, put your storage outside. Not in your guest houses that came with the first update like I do here. I'm going to have to move all of these out of here now. More work. <laughs> then again, I didn't put all this. Billy did. So it's time to put Billy back to work, right? <laughs> Now, for those of you that are using the Steam Deck and want to use these mods while playing on your Steam Deck, fear not, there is a way for you to be able to do this as well. Now, I personally do not have a Steam Deck, although I would love to have a Steam Deck. I cannot afford it right now. <laughs> so I am going based off of all of the information that I found on my research. So I will post all the information here on all of the instructions that I have found and let you guys go ahead and try to do this on your own Steam Decks. If you are able to get it to work on your Steam Decks, let me know. I'm going to reach out to a few content creators that I know for sure has Steam Decks and I'm going to see if it works with them um, and let you know. But as from what I've seen online so far, it works doing it this way. So first I went on to, I found the Steam instructions over here, install mods on your Steam Deck. So this is directly from the Dinkum steam guides right here so todd's guides install mods now from what i gathered these instructions were a little confusing and um it needed a little tweaking so if you want i will have this file or this link directly in the description below but i did see on reddit that somebody did say that it takes a little bit of tweaking and these are the full instructions that they put and somebody else confirmed that the way this person flight kick went ahead and put it on reddit is the way it worked for them on their steam deck so first you need to download the latest 6.x release of bepin x from the official releases pages i will have this linked as well in the description below so you can click on any of these links on reddit you're going to make sure you get the Unity Mono Time 64 variant, the same variant that we used when we downloaded it to the PC, the Unity Mono version. Do not use the Unix variant. You're going to copy the contents of the archive to your game directory, open your Steam game properties and add the following to launch options. And you're just going to put this entire command right here into your launch options. Start the game once to generate config files and directories. You can now place mods in the Dinkum Bepin X plugins folder, the same folder that you would on a computer on your PC, just like we did. You always want to put it in that plugins folder, but you're just this time putting it into your Steam Deck folders. Remember, the Steam Deck can essentially just basically run like Windows. You can literally install Windows on your Steam Deck. That's according to what I heard. So it's going to run very similarly. You just have to figure out and make sure you know exactly where on your Steam Deck to put the BEP in six file or program into your Steam Deck. Once you have it, run your folder, run your game, and you're gonna get that plugins folder. And just like we uh, looked for all of these mods, you're gonna get those DLL folders or files and put them into those plugin folders on your Steam Deck. Same way, y'all, same way. So if you're able to get it on your Steam Deck done, let me know. I am also gonna work with some of my other content creator friends and see if they were able to get it work using these guides that I found online. All right, I hope you enjoyed what we did here today, guys, and I hope it was useful and helpful. I hope it wasn't too confusing. <laughs> if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I will try to help you out as much as I can. I am techie savvy, but remember, I am not an IT, so I will do the best I can to answer any of your questions. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you can get notified of the future content coming up, such as my top picks for which mods I think you should install. And of course, until the next time, happy gaming. Bye.